Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stoned and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome playing as a Machadon. So in the last episode we got some land off Byzantion and Bithynia and even a little bit of land here. I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was Chizikos or whatever. I, I, I really can't remember. Uh, so but we still took a little bit of land here and now we are currently fighting a nice and big juicy war against Istrost and its big ally the Asian Kingdom. Now this is a really opportune war because the Asian Kingdom were caught up in a one hell of a massive revolt and like a really big one and they are really weak so they have like no manpower they have not very many men so it is a good time to start taking them on. Hopefully we can take a big chunk of land and do some serious damage to them. We have got the Seleucids helping us out which is pretty good so they're keeping the bulk of the asian kingdom's forces occupied there's not many of them i think i will hand over some land to the seleucids i'm very tempted to just to thank them i don't want them breaking any alliance so we'll probably hand something but 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 we'll see we'll see what we can get in the peace treaty but anyway without any further ado let's get on bim bam boom so we have occupied all of Istros here, so we're going to send this 23k stack down to siege over here in Astakos. Try and take the fort there, and uh, this army down here is currently sieging Ionia. No, Ephesos, which is good. We'll try and take everything off Ephesos of Ionia, sorry. We'll try and take all this, because it is Greek pops, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a lot of Greek pops there, and I do want them, which is pretty nice. Um, I have got an extra military tech level now, and I do want to go for the extra discipline. Yeah, let's go for the extra discipline here. I I think extra discipline is really good. It is really useful, so we'll definitely take that. Where is our oh, I mean, They're coming down. They're gonna take a little bit of time. We don't we're not on force march, but I don't want to put them on force march. We're in no rush at the moment. Anyway, caught red-handed. Several nights ago, Antipatros Antipatrid was discovered helping himself to a sizable quantity of gold from the national treasury. Who are you? You're the pretender and the Epistrategos. I could have you flogged. Yeah, I'm going to flog you, dude. Wow, the Siege of Ephesus was won. That was pretty quick. Okay, so that's been occupied. Um, I should probably take this fort here, but... Could I take uh, Perrine and then Samnos? What's the fort level here? Fort level 1. We're going to send this guy to take care of this fort there. And you're going to go and take care of this fort. We might as well get rid of multiple forts at once. Everything will go a lot quicker that way. I don't want to buy a military tradition just yet. I want to keep the extra bonus that the military um, experience points give to our army morale. It is very useful, so we might as well keep it that way. Right, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm keeping it on speed 5 at the moment because there's really nothing stopping us destroying them. I mean, really. it's There's no kind of major obstacle. Oh, Helicon Assos. I really want Helicon Assos. That would be really cool. If we can take that, that would be wicked. I mean, taking this coastline would be really good. This coastline here, and then this coastline up north there. That would be really cool. And allow us to... And this as well here. I don't know if we can take it all, though. I've got a few claims, so it shouldn't cost us too much in terms of war score. But we'll see. We'll soon be able to find out, anyway. Uh, the Siege of Astakos has been won. We're going to siege this fort here. I can go for another invention. I could probably go for the Experience Decay. But you know what? We're going to wait. We're going to wait, because you never know, we might need to hire some mercs. I mean, it's always good to have a little bit of gold stocked. It's always useful. Alright, 0%. Wow, everything's falling really quickly. I think it's because we have some pretty neat siege ability, to be fair. Um, you're going to go down here now and siege this fort. Who else is fighting us? These guys are... We're not really bothered about this island yet, to be honest. Well, I suppose we could. Just to wipe out all of Ionia. Caught red-handed. So hold in front of the court, Philippos on a masthead is a sorry sight. Caught with a length of chain in hand, he's said to be ready to strike down Menon Antipatrid in a brutal act of violence. Okay. We all, like, who are you? Is he wanted to kill him? No, he wanted to... Oh no, that's a different event, of course. Why? Why? That's of course, it's a different box. Why did I look at that? Um... So, we can either gain loyalty with Philippos on a Mastid and lose loyalty with Menon and the others, or gain loyalty with... Who's Philippos on a Mastid and Hyperides on a Mastid? I want to find out who they are. So we'll go for the Great Families. Um, Hyperides is a general, and Menon... Where are you? Is it Menon? Where... I know one of them is a general. So who's the other guy? Hyperides and Philippos. No, it's Hyperides and Philippos, sorry. 
So, Hyperides and Fresh Philippos. You're a researcher. He's quite old, so you know what? You know what? We shouldn't be too hasty. Or, I don't know. I oh, know I don't want to imprison the researcher. We shouldn't be too hasty. Whatever. Anyway, Basilus Helenos offers friendship of Paonia. Yeah, why not? We'll increase opinion with you. That's uh, that's fine. The Oracle of Delphi. So a messenger had been sent by the Oracle of Delphi herself. Apparently Apollo was seeing good times coming for our country, particularly under the leadership of Aquinas Antipatria. Now, I can't afford to lose 800 gold and gain monthly legitimacy and own power, so we're just going to take a little bit of legitimacy and a little bit of own power. I can't afford to get a bigger buff. For longer duration. No, we can't do that. We'll thank the Oracle for her good news. Thank you. Thanks, Oracle. We'll do it that way. Right, Helicon Assel Siege has been won, which is fantastic. This is Miletos. Why are you at war against Miletos? You at war against Miletos? Who the hell is Miletos? Oh, it's you. Why? Take Ionia. But I already have the points of Ionia, so screw you. Yeah, you can't occupy it. Screw you. But I, w I would like that, though. It's a shame. But no, I, I won't be able to take everything anyway, so... Um, let's go and probably occupy over here now. Let's go and occupy some land up north. And there's 4,000 men. We'll go and deal with them. What do you want? Levantine. Power of what? Triple Attainer. Want iron? No problem. The Siege of Soroibos has been won. And we've killed everybody. That's a shame. That's really annoying. I didn't want to kill them. Oh well. Let's go down here now. Let's keep moving. We are still sieging that down. Where have I lost the siege? Oh, okay. Did they take that all back? They did. They took that all back. Um, you know what? Let's go and quickly occupy this here. And then, we'll, yeah, we'll go and quickly occupy this. Why not? We're 51 war score here. We can keep it going a little bit longer. There's no reason not to. Let's go and deal with you. Force March, we'll deal with you. A little 5k stack. Boom, boom, boom. And we capture some guys, which is pretty cool. We'll deal with this. Thank you. Let's force march our way over here now. Let's go and deal with this um, 6k stack. What's a 4k stack there? And a 6k stack. Let's deal with them both. So we caught that little... There we go. You're dead. Again, this is, a, this is really, really easy. We'll follow you. I will catch you, dude. You do realise that I will catch you and you will die. There's a lot of trade routes that have been stopped. I'm going to gain the national tax here. I have more than enough stability. Let's go and kill that guy. You're going to occupy that. Now we are going to move down here and take that city. We are going to destroy them there. That's fine. You need to move over here. Now, actually, no. We'll take... Um, Let's see what I can actually sue for peace now. Let's see what I can take. Now, we can take this. Um, we can take this. Which is pretty much what I want. What provinces is this? I could probably try and get some of this province, to be honest. Um, let's see. If I went for all that. A little bit more land. Then I would want this. And I would want this. Just so I can link all that up. Then I would like this as well. Then I would like... I would like Ionia. But I've not occupied Smyrna, have I? No, I haven't. But we'll go and occupy. We'll continue fighting the war a little bit. We can keep it going on for quite a while. The Siege of Samnos has been won. That's great stuff. Let's go and take over Smyrna now. Because I want common border. We'll hold the Olympics. No problem, as per usual. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. So, basically, our person, our ruler died. We lose 20 stability. Uh, we lose opinion with... Or loyalty with a lot of provinces. We have a new ruler now, which is the woman. Which is what we wanted, even though she's not great. Because that means that the primary heir has got to be the boy. Now, I need a new Epistrategos. So, I'm going to put you instead. Got a couple of scorned families here. Oh, no, we don't. That's going to go. Because four out of four. Oh, no, three out of four. The Elimiotid. But I can't change him just yet. Because we have no damn stability. Uh, armies lack food. Wow. Okay, he's here. We've got a couple of big pretenders here. 
really big pretenders. This is not good. Let's grant ourselves a holding. Because I want some gold. Let's try to bribe a few people. Who are you? You're a pretender. We have so many damn pretenders. You're a researcher. And you hate me as well. Who are you? You're the Trophius. I can't bribe. I have no gold. Okay, we need to end this war quickly. I will colonize that quick. Um, yeah, we, we need to end this war as fast as possible. There's no way I can... Yeah, there's no way I can maintain this. It's not possible. It's just too risky at the moment. We have quite a bit of issues. Um... I just need to occupy Smyrna first. Once we can get Smyrna, I'll be happy. But I can't get it just yet. So you're going to move over here. We'll try and take that city. Yeah, we, we need to end it. We need to end it. He died at the really wrong time. We'll lose a bit of gold here, gain some stability. Thank you. We need stability desperately. Um, now we'll sue for peace and we'll see what we can take here. Let's reset the peace deal. Don't want to be too greedy. We need to really kind of be careful what we're going to get here. I want that. also want this. That's fine. I would like that to link it up. And I would like this. Oh, for God's sake, we're so close. So damn freaking close. I could... Really could have taken that. What about if I was to... Not take this? Are you kidding me? I still couldn't get it. If I was not to take that or that. Now at 100. But even though he wouldn't have it. You bastard. How long we got? 39 months. I am, yeah. Alright, let's reset the peace treaty. And we'll just go for this. Then this, because I want to link it up. Okay. I could go for this, but... Let's just go for this here, and we'll link up these little pieces. That seems to be fine. 27. I could go for a little bit more. I could go for all that. But what if I was to get rid of that? Go for this. Take these little small pieces. Ah, but then again, I couldn't go for all this, could I? Um, Go for that. And that. Well, that doesn't cost too much. But this cost a fortune. This is the reason why. Negative 18. Yeah, we're going to have to forget about taking this Ionia bit down here. We're going to have to forget about that. So we'll go for this. That seems to be fine. It links it all up. What region do we have here? This is Europa and Rodope. Yeah, I don't want this bit here. What is that a different region? No, it's the region of Thrace. So we could potentially take it. Oh god, I'm I'm stuck. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't fucking know. Um we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll take this. I'll take fucking this. Okay. Um, I mean I could take this and all this. I suppose we could. Could I, could I then go for something else, maybe? Um, maybe this? No, it wouldn't let me have that, would it? Well, what about if I did that, 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 and that? And then add this. This is a bit more doable. Negative six reasons. Okay, we're going to go for this. I'm going to advance it a little bit more. We'll try and get a little bit more war score. I feel like we can, so... Let's just go and deal with them. Why not? There's no reason why. I can I can, I can get mine at 6 uh, war score for all that. I can easily continue it. No problem. No questions asked. So let's just keep going. We'll knock up the war score a little bit. Olympic Games conclude. Who win? This Rhodium Miner. Wow. 12 martial ability. You're a beast, my friend. You're a big beast. I'll do the religion and everything afterwards. Really, not at the moment. It's not the most important thing. What about now? Okay, now we can sue for peace. And we can take all this. And we can get rid of that. I can nearly get rid of all of Istros, but whatever. That is fine. This is good. It's a lot more land. We push over into Anatolia. I'm happy with that. Really, I'm really happy. We can do that. 
Yeah, let's peace out. Let's peace out, let's peace out. Um, the Astakatan Elite. Um, what do I do here? Yeah, our enemies deserve no quarter. I can't bring any more characters in because they're just going to be way too disloyal. And they're going to contribute to the Civil War. So I can't bring any characters in and that is why I'm not doing it. And the next thing we need to do is make sure we go back home. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a massive big-ass Civil War here if we don't be careful. Um, how loyal are you? You're really not loyal. Um, but I will bribe you. Oh, I can bribe you a little tiny bit. You're so close. You're really close to being a friend and I could really then get rid of you. And you're, are you dying? You're dying. And you're quite old. 54. How much gold have we got? 19. We don't have much. Let's grant ourselves a holding. In Astakos. Five holdings. We're getting six per month. Is there anything in terms of religion that would help us here? I don't think so. Diplo rep, urban development costs. There's nothing there that really helps. What about in this one? Nope. What about over here? Nope. What about this one? Nope. What about here? So there's nothing really that helps us, so we're just going to go for the research points here, I mean, why not? Okay, so we're going to bring you fellas. Who are you? You're going to come all the way back down to... Lamia. You're going to go all the way back over here. You're going to come all the way back over to the capital. Or oh, they're going to go into Byzantium. actually, we'll keep you there. Now, 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 now we need to see what we can do with all these forts. I need to get rid of some. I don't need this fort here anymore. Or do I? Probably not. I've got a city here. I am going to get a fort on there, though. I'll get a fort there. I'll get a fort on Hissa as well. Okay, this is going to block the border. This one I will keep for the moment. This is this is the actual border. Here we've got a fort. Here we've got a fort. That is good. Here we've got one as well. I could keep... Yeah, I'm going to keep them over here. Honestly, you never really know when you're going to need them. But is there anything we could take here to help us? Anything maybe the next tech level? There's nothing. Military ambassadors. Aggressive expansion change. Could take that. No, I need the gold for mercs. We, never, we, need, we might need mercs. We might need mercs. How about you? Are you loyal? You're not loyal. Got to figure out a way how to solve the issue here. You hate my guts, man. I couldn't encourage deserters. Yeah, we're going to encourage deserters. Encourage deserters on him. Where's the other disloyal guy? So it's here. You were going to encourage some more deserters. Okay. You as well. I am going... Here, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I can get this guy on our side. I really am. So, I am not going to encourage deserters on you. This guy, though, I am going to encourage deserters as much as possible because he is so really disloyal, it's insane. Now, that problem has been solved. Now, we need to solve the problem... Actually, scorn families were fine. We don't really have many. Um, got a couple of people, maybe ransom you. No, I have to pay for that. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to pay to have a prisoner they keep released. No way. I'm going to slow the speed down here to speed four. I want to make sure that we can do everything correctly. And let's uh, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Okay, so we stopped the potential threat of civil war already. That is great news. Thank God for that. That is the one thing I am really scared about. Can I... Is there anything we can do here? Anything at all? Anything. Loyalty of governors. Functional bureaucracy. Unintegrated culture group. Happiness. None of that. Anything here? Hot conversion speed. Integrated culture happiness plus 6%. That's pretty good. Loyalty of characters. Okay, we're going to go for loyalty to the state here. Um, 
that should help us win this guy over, which it has done. Which is good news. And I am going to disband this guy's troops. Yeah, his army is being disbanded. Uh, we'll just advance. There we go. I'm going to disband you guys. Don't think we've got a lot of time. They'll become loyal veterans. Damn, it's going to increase his power base. Isn't it? It is going to increase his power base. So I don't want to disband them. We're going to keep him on our side and we'll encourage deserters at some point. I'm going to send this army over to... Where am I going to send you guys? I'm going to send you guys to Pella. I'll keep you guys over there. Do I have a scorn family? It says I have a scorn family, but four out of four have got positions. So I don't know why that is there. It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, we've got a low food over here we know. I should probably import some extra grain. And I have got a lot of... I think I've got a lot of trade... No? Oh, I haven't. We've got a lot of trade routes that I haven't... No, all the trade... Oh, no, we have got a lot of trade routes we haven't done. We're going to have to go for all this, of course, so... I might actually do this off camera. I think I'll do this off camera. I'll save gold. I'll do that off camera so I don't bore you guys. Anyway, we have extra tech. And I'm going to get some here. We have maritime patrols, which is pretty good. Actually, no. I don't know. I need to save the gold. We'll save We'll save the gold. We'll definitely save the cash. Oh, the third Stratos general has died then. And I'm going to give this to... He's the son of the general of the fifth Stratos. You're very loyal. You're loyal-ish. Oh, you're good, though. Well, then, why are you scorned? Well, I'm going to give it to this guy instead. Because, yeah, he's pretty good. And he's not a major character, so I don't want him pissing me off. Um, however, we have a couple of annoying little douchebags. And I'm going to use this now-loyal army to destroy him. This dude is... Yeah, he's weak now. He can really, honestly... He can have as many of these small men under his control as he wants. It's really not a problem. It's only 15,000 men, so... Whatever, dude. You guys are going to go back to Pella now. And I think Crisis... Oh, no, actually, no, you're going to follow him. Yeah, you're going to follow him. Anyway, the Crisis has been averted. Thank God for that. Um, I was getting quite worried about what was going to happen to us, to be honest. Which means we can now actually go for military tradition. And I do want to go for... Oh, this is really nice. This next one here, the Hipparchos, heavy cab morale, light cab morale. And then the next one is deep coffers for the Merc army maintenance and the heavy cab discipline. We're going to go down this route here for the moment. Which is a really good thing to do. So I'll happily take that. Got a lot more land here. And what are you guys? These guys are all Mission. Let's have a look at our culture breakdown. Is there any miss? We have, oh, we have a lot of Mission pops. But again, I think we should be able to, I think we should be able to assimilate these guys. There's no reason we can't. So I am going to assimilate them. We have an Asian governor force here. I am going to up it a little bit. So I'll get another... I'll get another unit of archers. And another unit of light infantry. We'll up it to 10k so it keeps it on the par with this one down here. However, this guy's disloyal. Are you kidding me? This Greek governor is an idiot. Why are you not loyal? Big power base, that's why. Big power base. Um, I could get rid of the monthly corruption here next. And we could probably go for something to do with loyalty of governors. Plus 10, functional bureaucracy. I'm very tempted to go for that, to be honest. And why are you the potential successor? I, I, I want my boy. Why? Why, is it, why aren't you going to inherit the throne? I don't know why he's not going to inherit it. I really would like him to. Oh well, it is what it is. We shall see what happens. Let's just quickly destroy these horrible pesky barbs. They're now dead. All that is good. People are starving. We know they lack food. Whatever. Oh, we have got land over here, haven't we? I forgot about this. So I'm going to keep the fort on the border here. Where am I going to put the capital? I've got no port. This has got a port, though. But what's migration attraction here? We have 11 and 12. So I think I'm going to put it here. It's on farmland. It's got horses as well, which increases pop output, which is pretty cool. So let's put the province capital over here. I like it there. And I am going to get another fort over here. We can, oh, I don't have the... Can I get it? Oh, no, we have no building slot available. 
Well, let's just get rid of the granary then. Do I need that? No, get rid of the temple. I don't need the temple. Yeah, I don't need the temple. Let's get rid of the temple. We'll get rid of the temple and we'll go for a small fort. Here we have the whole land there. That's just good. Here we have a little bit of it all. Um, where is the province capital here? It's on the island over here, which isn't that stupid, actually. It's a pretty cool place to put it. So we'll keep it there for the moment. And we have a potential civil war again now. This is not good. And um, you're going to be off force march. I'm going to drill you guys. Definitely. Let's get you guys over there. You still hate my guts. Where's my other force? I have another... I had another army. Where's it gone? Oh, they're coming down here. Okay. They're actually moving. Oh, I'm going to have to sort all this problem out. There's a lot of issues. Starving pops all over the place. Normal, though, because, of course, there's no food there left. We've ransacked the whole area, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get over this. Maybe... What's the Civil War threshold? Where is my Civil War threshold? Okay, the threshold is 20. At the moment, we're 27. And it's the governor of Greece who's got a massive power base, and he's the one who's really the major issue here. And I am going to get rid of this governor, and we are going to replace him with somebody else as soon as I can. I wish I could bribe him. Yeah, I'm going to grant myself another holding here and try and increase our income. We'll see how much we make per month. 6.95. I should get to 100 gold. I just need to bribe the guy. And I need to get the enough political influence so we can actually uh, change some idea. National idea. Get the loyalty of governors. Let's get you to... Can I prove legitimacy? No, I have no gold. So I can't do that. Oh, no, I can. I have gold. Why? Influence. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Influence. So we'll go for that. Try to get more political influence in. I need to get up to 20-odd. So it can actually change. Shadow of the Night. So last night, a Metrodora, the first Antipatria, had encountered two brute thugs on the way home. Fearing for her life, she barely managed to escape. Who are you? You're really dis... Oh, you're loyal. I stopped seeing him as a rival. Yet yeah, I'm going to stop seeing him. I don't want to imprison him. I, I, need a, I need the few enemies as possible. As few enemies as we can possibly have. That's what we need. No longer importing livestock. Yeah, I'll do all the trade routes off camera, don't worry. I'll get them all done. Now we just need to solve the issue of our civil war. And by the way, these pirates here, I'm going to kill these pirates. They're really a big pain. Let's get them. Where are you going? You're not moving anywhere, are you? Let's trade, no problem. Trade with everybody. Thank you. I don't think we're going to... Oh, I have caught them, so that's good. We're going to smash them pirates. There we go. The pirates have been smashed. They're dead. They're killed. Let's go back there. Um, How much gold do we have now? 80. Come on, I need a little bit more. And then, once we get 20 political influence, we can definitely get rid of the Greek governor. And it's the only way we're going to stop this... This, this poxy civil war. Legitimacy is increasing. Um, who is the... Where's our son? Why is our son not... Nicagoras. We need to get rid of these guys. We really do. Hopefully you'll die. Why are you... Why don't... Why is my guy not... Or why is my son not supported? He's a member of the Elimiotid family. I, I, I don't know why. Remember the Elamiotid family? Why is he? Who are you? You remember the Elamiotid family? Why have you got the fathers? Why? Is it the succession law? I've no idea. I have no idea why. They, they should... Uh, that... Our ruler's son should inherit. Um, why they are not, I don't know. Uh, oh well. It is what it is. Let's get rid of this now. And we'll go for the... Where is it? Lord of Governors. There we go. Functional bureaucracy. That's what we need. Now the governor of Greece is very close to being friends with us. Incre well, incredibly close to liking us. We have enough gold now to bribe the dude. 
So I'm going to bribe him, and we're going to try and replace these governors with people who are loyal to us, because these guys are... Oh, I need five political influence now, so I need to wait a little bit. I need a little bit of political influence to get this done. We are allied with the Seleucids, so if there is a civil war, we could probably deal with it, to be honest. But I still don't want to risk it. I would sooner stop it as soon as we can freaking stop it. That would be the best case scenario. Um, are you drilling? No, you're disloyal, that's why. You can drill, though. I'll trade with you. Three political influence, a little bit more. A teeny weeny bit more. Teeny weeny weeny bit more. Now, we are not making as much gold as we would like because we have this big army here, so we are all loyal to this guy. Hopefully, it will just go away at some point. Right, let's get rid of this guy. So, we're going to bribe you to become more loyal, okay? And then I'm going to change you, dude, because you've been a thorn in my side forever. And you're on a Mastid. How many positions do they have on a Mastid? They have four out of four, so it's got to be another on a Mastid. So let's see. This guy's fairly loyal, but you are selfish. You are selfish. You are very loyal. And I think I'm going to put the most loyal dude possible here. Torion. There we go. So that's that problem solved. Then we need to give the Onomastid something. I might actually split my navy up here and make a smaller force just to kind of... You know what? We will get one... Let's split it in half. You know what? We'll split it in half. Split the two navies. That means it gives us two navies. Why not? This one can go down here. This one can stay this side. It's about time we had two different navies. Let's give it an Onomastid. Since he's a general and admiral, he should have more loyalty now with us. And whatever. If you want to be a dick, that's fine. Um, now he's very loyal to us. So that's solved the problem. Thank God for that. We've actually got rid of that. And now the threshold should have been reduced. We're at 20%. No. What are we? 4.66%. So we finally managed to keep the... Uh, Keep the like kind of disloyal nations under check. I would like to declare war on you guys. Who are you friends with? Ooh, I could make you into a client. This could work. Or a tributary or something. It would be nice. We might actually do that next. Declare war on these guys and take all this and make them a tributary. But um, anyway, now we've actually solved the Civil War problem. I am going to end the episode here. And in the next one, we're going to uh, probably declare war on these. I don't know yet. We'll think about it. We will think. I have a lot of claims. I should probably kind of stabilize a bit more before we go to war again. But anyway, as for usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more Imperial Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.